Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an ion trap. So my goal here today is to be able to trap charged particles in space and even manipulate them by changing the voltage around them. So the first thing I need to do this is some high voltage. So I have here a neon sign transformer. This is 5,000 volts. And also for this to work, you need a real transformer with coils in it. So these are real coils wrapped around steel that's translating the low voltage into a high voltage. There are other neon sign transformers like this one here. So this is a solid state transformer that doesn't use coils of wire to up the voltage. And this won't work in this case. So this will be alternating current AC at around 60 hertz and around 5,000 volts. And then I'm going to use a variac on the input so that I can change the input voltage so it'll change the output voltage as well. So basically by varying the input voltage, I'll be varying the output voltage from 0 to 5,000 volts. This is AC voltage, so the current's going to be alternating between these two wires. What I need to do is ground one of these wires so that I only have one at high voltage relative to the ground. Okay, let's test out if this is working. Okay, it's on. Let's turn up our voltage. Works. This is extremely high voltage. I need to be very careful with this. I have a current limiter on here of around 8 milliamps, but I don't want to test that out. Okay, now I'm going to ground this side of it. Should still work with it grounded. Let's check. Turn it on. Still works. Just going to install an alligator clip to this. Now I just have a laser diode that I made have a wide beam, so I've defocused it so the beam's really large. So it's shining in the center of this washer here. Now what we need to do before we charge this up, we need to get some charged particles. Now this could trap any size of ions, and so we need to get some particles that are big enough to see. So I'm going to be using dragon's breath or lycopodium spores. So now to get some charged particles, just take this rod and rub it against some wool here so it becomes negatively charged. So anything I put on here is going to become negatively charged. Now if I put this lycopodium powder on here, you can see how it shoots off. So these particles that jump off it, they're negatively charged. So they're repelled from each other and attracted to a neutral surface or a positively charged surface and they're repelled from a negatively charged surface. If we can get these particles near that high voltage electrode, it'll be attracted to it then repelled from it, attracted and then repelled because the current's alternating back and forth. So I'm alternating the high voltage in there from positive to negative at around 60 times per second. So the particle won't have enough time to fly towards or away from the electrode, but it'll be kind of frozen in place. So we can actually trap ions in a ring like this. Okay, I'm powering on. Okay, we're at full power. Let's get our lycopodium powder. Okay, we got them. Now to be very careful to not knock them out. Whoa, it's working. I actually trapped them in there. Okay, you can see them trapped in the middle there. The high voltage keeps them at the center. The lower the voltage, it spreads out a little. But the wind keeps blowing the particle out, so I'm going to put it in a completely enclosed container and try it. So now I've completely encased it to block out all the wind. And I have a little port here that I can open up. Then I can stick my stick in here with the charged particles and trap them inside of there. I have one particle trapped in there. Once we got rid of that wind, it's so stable in there. What's cool about this setup is by varying the input voltage, I can vary the output voltage. And because the particles are all the same charge, they're repelled from each other, so they want to move apart from each other. I can choose the particle that has the highest charge by lowering the voltage until the other particles drop off. And then I'm left with a single particle that has the highest charge. Now I just have one particle in there. And then if I turn the voltage too low, I'd lose that one as well. Lost it. Okay, now I've put my wife's earring in there. Okay, turn it on. Look how cool that shape is. So let's filter out these loosely bounded particles here by turning the voltage down a little bit. 
Turn it down, down. The loose ones fall off. Then turn it back up. Look at that, that is so cool. Turn it back down. Then when I turn it back up, they pack tightly together. It's so cool how relatively easy it is to bind these charged particles in an earring. See, we can move them further apart or closer together. Turn the voltage, turn the voltage down and up, down and up. Let's see if we can get one left in there again. Turn it down till the loose ones fall off. Oh, we caught it. Okay, I filtered it to just one particle in there now. You can see when I film it in slow motion, this is 240 frames per second. You can actually see the particle bouncing back and forth between the alternating voltages. Now before we end today, I'd like to thank Babbel for sponsoring this video. With the start of the new year, many people have New Year's resolutions. One of my resolutions is to learn another language. Now I'm fluent in English and Cambodian, but I've always wanted to learn Spanish. My wife speaks Spanish and several of my brothers and sisters speak Spanish. So one of the best ways that I've found to learn a new language is through Babbel. Babbel teaches you real world practical conversations. They have short five, 10 or 15 minute interactive lessons. Mis padres son profesores. My parents are teachers. Mis padres son profesores. What's cool is the lessons are designed by real language teachers. There's no machine learning algorithms or AI. They have award-winning technology that's actually scientifically proven to get you speaking in just three weeks. There's multiple ways to learn. They have lessons, podcasts, games, videos, and live classes with the top teachers. Babbel teaches you more than just vocab words. It also teaches you about that language's culture, people, history, and more. Ahora hablo un poquito de español. ¿Quién me entiende hablando ahora? So if you want to start learning the language you've always wanted to learn, click the link in my description for 65% off. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time.